Hey guys, it's Dom. And today we got another cool highlight video for you of a red 20K gooseneck dump trailer. Now you've seen our trailers painted red before, so that's nothing new to you. But the reason why I wanna show you this dump trailer is because it has one added feature that you haven't seen before. However, before we get into that, let's talk about the steel locking box. Now inside this box, you're always gonna find your deep cycle marine battery, your hydraulic pump along with your hydraulic fluid container, a five amp charger, and a 110 power outlet that's on the side so you can charge your battery overnight. Let's take a look inside this box. It's empty. Where'd everything go? The reason why the box is empty is because this trailer is powered by a Honda GX240 gas engine with eight horsepower, along with the Foster's hydraulic power unit. Now, if you're a trailer buff, and that's gotta be one of the most beautiful thing your eyes have ever seen. But before I show you how it works, Let's talk about a few benefits you get by owning a gas engine. One of them is gonna be your storage space. Now, of course, you're used to having your box hold the brain and the heart of the trailer, but now you get to actually use it as storage space. The other benefit is gonna be battery. You're no longer having to charge one, so you're never having to worry about whether or not it has a full charge because you're running off a gas engine. And the other benefit's gonna be how quickly your bed tilts up now. So let's go and take a look at this bad boy. Now normally in order to start your gas engine, you always have to pull on the cord, but this trailer actually comes with a start unit. And it's pretty simple. All you're gonna do is turn the key from off to start, and it's gonna crank right up. Now in order to lift your trailer, you have to go ahead and engage the Foster's hydraulic power unit, and this is what you're gonna do. You have a yellow handle that's facing towards you. All you're gonna do is just turn it to the side and you've engaged the system. Now on our battery systems, you'll see that we always have a 15 foot power cord that's used to power up and down to operate the hydraulic system. All you're gonna do on this one though, is take this handle and you're gonna lift it by pushing up and lowering it by pushing down. Kinda looks like a joystick and this is how it works. Now on those cold mornings when it's harder to start the engine and you're gonna need the choke for that, this is where your choke is located. It's currently closed. Flip it over, it's open. Close it right back up. You can also control the speed that your trailer is being lifted at. And this is what you're gonna do. Right here on the motor, you'll see a hair that shows max. And if you wanna slow it down, you see the tortoise, minimal. And same thing, you're just gonna take the knob and turn it to the tortoise. You wanna slow it all the way down. If you wanna give it a little bit more power, maybe take it to the middle. If you want full power, boom, and you got full power. As you can see, when it's at the tortoise speed, it raises pretty slowly. But again, if you want full power, you just flip it all the way to the hair, and this sucker rises up pretty quickly. Now, even though the purpose of this video is to show off our gas engine, I also want to remind you, since the trailer's up, about your safety bar. You should always, always, always have it propped up when you have your trailer at a lift, especially if you plan to be underneath it for any reason. As you saw, when I lowered the trailer, the engine was on. But do you have to have the engine on to lower it? It's pretty quiet in here right now. Once again, gravity takes over.
Once again, I'm Dom. And I hope this brief look at the Honda GX240 gas engine gave you a little taste on what's possible for you when you purchase your next Texas Pride trailer, or if you're even purchasing your first Texas Pride trailer. Once again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the road.